As we said before, one of the most fascinating aspects of pop culture is trends, and K-pop is no exception. Moreover, trends cycle, and recently we have seen more and more nods back to the Y2K era. Some of those are more visual, but we are hearing more and more musical influences too. Today we are exploring one of the greatest examples of being nostalgically trendy. Kiss of Life recently came back with Midas Touch, and, as they have every time so far, impressed with great music and performance. What stood out to us the most overall was how well they referenced the nostalgic sound which trends have been leaning more and more into recently. So, of course we had to break it down. At first listen, we thought Midas Touch perfectly embodies the pop sound from the turn of the century. Listening more closely, we realized there are a number of elements responsible for this, together with some choices which made the song sound very modern. First and foremost, we were reminded of the iconic Britney Spears. The chords, and especially the rhythm in which they are played, were particularly reminiscent of Toxic. Similarly to Toxic, the chords play a fairly choppy pattern which drives the song. They play on the downbeat, which is fairly common. However, they also play on the preceding upbeat, creating a very nice groove. This is further emphasized by the very beginning of the top line, which leads us into the downbeat. Some of the downbeats are further emphasized by orchestral hits, which is another iconic sound of that era. What's important to note here, however, is that in both songs, the chords leave space for the snare to punch through, with occasionally not even having vocals at the same time. The snare itself is quite interesting too, very snappy and very upfront. While not a key point for every song of that era, it reminded us a bit of this. Midas Touch also has some really cool snare fills, which are reminiscent of another classic. In fact, these fills are crucial as they break up the steady groove and keep things interesting. In Toxic, the driving instrument is a guitar, which was fairly typical back then. In Midas Touch, we hear Super Sauce, which is rather intriguing. The sonic quality is not too different, both are crunchy and attract your attention. Moreover, songs from that era dabbled into that sound too. Naturally, the exact tone has changed with time, but overall this keeps things familiar in Midas Touch while at the same time sounding more up to date. However, guitars are not entirely missing from Midas Touch, as here they add an extra sparkle to the production while further emphasizing the style it references. We hear a very high-pitched lead in Midas Touch, which also serves as a great throwback. Finally, we can't ignore the role of the top line in performance in really selling this concept. We hear powerful vocal delivery, confident and at times cheeky. We hear specific vocal cracks which are particularly reminiscent of the era, as well as beautiful runs. Songs from the 2000s played with tension in a rather interesting way. Sometimes this would be in form of the lead top line melody by incorporating harmonic minor. Other times it would be slightly more subtle by using background vocal harmonies. Not. 
Finally, we have a powerful, dramatic ending to the song, once again typical for songs from that era. In Midas Touch, it's achieved by what we call a fake-out ending, combined with a powerful final phrase. <laughs> But what do you think of Midas Touch? And what other concepts and sounds do you hope to hear in K-pop? Let us know in the comments down below. And don't forget to join our Discord community. We have a lot of content coming, so if you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.